And now, the general weather around Alaska. There is still a blizzard warning out for the eastern Beaufort Sea coast uh, for this evening, uh, due to end at 10 p.m. this evening. And from there, looking at the uh, river breakup map for today, uh, expanding areas of open water along the Tanana River all the way, well actually upstream from Tanana, but also at Tanana up the Nanana River a little bit there. And uh, Chena River showing some mostly open areas there in and around Fairbanks. Also qu quite an area of some open water now on the Copper River and a little bit here on the Susitna River. And moving on to satellite imagery for today, a lot of clearing. Oh. Oh, excuse me, a lot of clearing here on the southeast coast and um, some clouds with a remnants of an old front moving into the interior, bringing some uh, variably cloudy skies with some scattered showers into the interior there. And then up on the Arctic coast, uh, areas of snow covering much of the Arctic coast with snow and blowing snow occurring, winds gusting anywhere from 25 to 45 miles per hour. And again, that expected to continue until 10 p.m. tonight. Stronger system down here pushing rain into Kodiak Island and across Bristol Bay and uh, clouds pushing up into the uh, southern Cusicum Valley areas. And another system here starting to spread some moisture in toward uh, Shimmy and Attu. Rolling that through again, you can see this system here pushing cloudiness north and northwestward. Another area of clouds and some light precipitation there across the Seward Peninsula in towards St. Lawrence Island. And on the chart today, you can see a uh, weak trough here right across the Tanana Valley and some scattered showers with, uh, or in, associated with that trough, kind of a dividing line between the chillier air blowing in on some northeast winds over the upper Yukon Valley and the eastern Brooks Range there and the milder air down to the south. A lot of sunshine in the Copper River Basin today into South Central Alaska with many areas reading, or rising into the mid 50s here for South Central Alaska and upper 50s near 60 up in the uh, Tanana Valley. A lot of sunshine today with temperatures in the 50s and 60s, lower 60s in Juneau this afternoon and uh, rain, light rain, Kodiak Island starting to spread up into Southern Cook Inlet and across Bristol Bay in the Alaska Peninsula with a couple of troughs producing uh, showers here over the Pribilof Islands and down along the Alaska Peninsula. To the west, high pressure, light winds, dry conditions over much of the western Bering Sea. You can see the uh, precipitation shield associated with the uh, next system that tonight will slip kind of to the east and southeast here and uh, bring a chance of rain into Shimmy and Attu, otherwise high pressure light winds, dry conditions, isolated showers here in the northerly flow on the eastern side of that uh, ridge from the Bering Strait all the way down to the Fox Islands, but pretty isolated to scattered, uh, otherwise dry here across southern Alaska, isolated showers up in the interior, and diminishing snow, diminishing winds, snow and blowing snow ending essentially for the Arctic coast, and it stays wet here. We've almost dropped the map advancer. And it stays wet here for the uh, southwest part of the state and in toward Bristol Bay. And a weak trough will uh, bring some shower chances into the southeast coast with the main front off to the southwest. Then tomorrow, this low will lift northward there and bring rain and increasing winds to the southern panhandle with precipitation spreading northward throughout the day. Mostly sunny skies here across southern Alaska and a trough in the central interior produced isolated to scattered showers, especially over the mountains here from the Alaska Range back to the northwest to the north there. Quite nice, uh, maybe some clearing for the Arctic coast now. Definitely lighter on the winds up there with some uh, pretty good sunshine into the eastern Brooks Range area and just isolated showers lingering here over the Alaska Peninsula and uh, pretty quiet out over the Bering Sea. In fact, uh, very quiet, like it quiet out there with light winds and dry conditions. Chance of a light shower for Adak and Atka and a weak front uh, not really doing much out there over the Western Aleutians. And for Sunday, that quiet pattern continues here over the Bering Sea with light winds and dry conditions. Have a warm front way out west here, shifting northward. This low dropping southward, leaving the Aleutians 
high and dry with some sunshine anywhere along the Aleutian chain as well as the Bering Sea. Another sunny day here for southern Alaska. Persistent trough up in the interior. Only will produce isolated shower conditions there with some variable cloudiness, but uh, more clearing as you head north on out to the Arctic coast. And showers diminishing over the central and northern panhandle are just isolated chances. Another system here starts to spread wind and rain into the southern southeast coast late in the day. And for the uh, lows for tonight, anywhere from five below to five above here for the North Slope and the Arctic coast and in the teens and lower 20s for the Brooks Range. South of the mountains though, upper 20s to mid 30s, all the way out to the Northern Bering Sea, lower to mid 30s for the Aleutians and Pribilof Islands, as well as Kodiak Island, Bristol Bay, Southwest Interior. In the 30s, across all of Southern Alaska, except the Copper River Basin, those higher valleys dropping into the mid 20s, lower 40s for the Southeast Coast. Highs tomorrow, cooler for the Panhandle tomorrow, mostly in the 50s, mid 50s Copper River Basin, and uh, 55 to 62 or three for South Central Alaska, mid 50s in the Tanana Valley, cooling into the upper 30s out toward the Bering Strait, Norton Sound, and the Seward Peninsula area, but upper 20s there for Shishmaref to Tin City, right around freezing for St. Lawrence Island, highs 5 to 15 for the North Slope and the Arctic Coast. And for the lows on Sunday morning, again, five below to five above for the North Slope and the Arctic Coast, Lower 20s now into uh, the Fort Yukon area, or down near 20, and uh, upper 20s to uh, lower to mid 30s in the Tanana Valley. Otherwise, in the 30s across all of southern Alaska, chillier, upper 20s along the southwest coast, mid 20s St. Lawrence Island in the 40s for the southeast coast. And then highs on Sunday afternoon, upper 40s, or 45 to 50 about covers it there for the Panhandle to Yakutat. In the 50s, maybe 60s, lower 60s, especially in the Susitna Valley areas. And uh, cooler up there in the Tanah Valley, 50 to 55 for the highs and uh, upper 40s, cooling into the 30s out toward the Bering Strait. And 10 to 15 for the highs for the North Slope and the Arctic Coast, into the 20s for the Brooks Range.